Hello, YouTube! I am Pinstar, and this is Sunless Sea. Strategies and tactics, followed by, well, more of a let's play. Uh, so, Sunless Sea is a game that's been out for a little while, but it showed up um, on the winter sale for a very good price. And if you picked it up, you're in for a treat. If you haven't, you still should pick it up. Um, it is a uh, exploration survival horror um, RPG with a couple of roguelike elements thrown in for the mix. Uh, essentially, you are a captain, a sea captain in this world called Fallen London. Um, basically, it's uh, London, uh, but bats took it underground. And now it is underground with this gigantic uh, underwater sea that, well, you're the captain of. Uh, so it's got some elements of our world in it, but it's very much its own universe. Now, uh, today I'm going to focus more on the gameplay aspects than the storyline aspects. I'm not going to read everything. Uh, if uh, that being said, this game has some excellent writing. The stuff it has is worth reading. Um, so if you are curious about the, the deeper lore that's going on behind some of the gameplay elements that I'm doing, I advise you pick up a copy for yourself and uh, play through it and read it. Uh, but in the meantime, I'm going to be doing some strategies and tactics here for getting started. Uh, and then it'll be more of a let's play because I've got some good strats for getting yourself started because this game is very unforgiving. Uh, but once I get to the mid game, then all bets are off. I'm going to be sort of exploring and learning new stuff along the way and have a distinct possibility of failing. Uh, so let us get started. We're going to start with a whole new dynasty. So no prior captains to give us bonuses and goodies and whatnot. We are starting A number one. Yeah. A mnemonic rat sender can assist with battle repairs. Yeah, that's the kind of game this is. Um, apparently there are intelligent rats and they are really good mechanics. And if you have a device that can send rats into your ship, um, they will help fix your ship in battle. But no matter, we don't have that right now. Um, so when you first start the game, you either get to choose a past or be wreathed in shadows. Now, choosing a past is normally a very good idea. It allows you to get a free officer and it allows you to choose one of your stats to give a 25 point boost to, which, as you can see, since everything starts at tw uh, 25s, is not an insignificant bonus. That being said, there's something that I want to unlock for our future captains that requires us to start uh, with our our past wreathed in shadows so I'm gonna go ahead and do that you can always reveal yourself later uh, but for in order to unlock this thing that can be passed down to future generations you need to start wreathed in shadows all right so we've got our tutorial book I've done the tutorial I'm not gonna have you read out this whole tutorial here but the nice thing about this tutorial book is you can sell it and that gives you actual money in the game um, so we have sold our book. We are up to a hundred echoes, which is the currency of the of fallen London. That is not much at all. So we gotta, we gotta make it count for what we do have. Let's go visit our lodgings. Now we always want to read the morning papers here. Um, not only will this give us a unit of recent news, which is a valuable commodity out in the Z, which is what they call the C, um, but it's um, it sometimes comes with little bonuses and goodies like like here. Uh, it looks like there was a coupon for some free food. So we got one free unit of supplies plus our recent news. Huzzah. Uh, nothing else we can do really here. We're just in a in a room above uh, above a tavern here, uh, which is the lowest quality of lodgings. Uh, we'll eventually want to upgrade that, but uh, in due time. All right, so in London here, let's pay a visit to the Admiralty's office because they are going to be a very significant part of our sea journey in both in keeping us in echoes and also in fuel. I'll show you later. But what we do want to do is we want to get their their um, their quest here. Now, the Admiralty will pay you for port reports, and you can get one of those at pretty much every port you visit. But every uh, the Admiralty will always have a mission to send you to a specific port. And if you visit that port, you can get strategic information, which is good for a lot of money. Uh, so we're let's see where let's so let's go do this. They want us to go to Gators Morn in Corsair's Forest. OK, that's um, 
that's not too bad. Well, it might not be too bad. It might be bad. I'll I'll explain that a little while why it might or might not be bad. Um, now, the other thing we want to pick up here in London um, is the passage to the tomb colonist. This is sort of a free uh, delivery quest here. And you get some decent amount of uh, outcomes once you deliver it. And it's not that far off. Now, uh, as far as what we're going to do. Oh, yeah. One other s s thing of note. You might see that our crew here, we have eight people out of ten. And you might say, oh, well, we, we could use a few more crew. Why don't we try and hire some more crew? Uh -uh. Uh -uh. Um, the more crew you have, the more they eat which means the faster you burn through your supplies. That being said, as long as you have 50% of your max crew or more, you still move it at full speed. So having five crew versus having 10 crew, as far as traveling the sea, um, is functionally the same. So you actually want to operate at, at the lower end of crew, um, mainly because uh, that way you can save on food and still go fast, well, faster. Uh, so we are pretty much done with London. Uh, oh, um, nope. One other thing. We do want to spend our money here. And there's one specific thing that we do want to spend it on. Uh, and that is, um, so we, uh, we are going up to, uh, Vendor Blight. That's our next stop. Vendor Blight likes, uh, um, likes, uh, what is it called? The mushroom wine. They will pay 23 per unit of mushroom wine. Um, and we can buy them for 21 here. It's not that much of a profit, but in the early, early game, every echo counts. So doing this little, uh, this little, uh, trade run up here, since we're going up there anyway, is worth, uh, your time and effort. So we're going to buy out as much as we can. And since we've got 10 left, let's pick up one more thing of fuel. Cause you generally need more fuel than you need supplies. Uh, so getting that extra thing of fuel will be useful. All right, I think we are ready to uh, set forth, and away we go. Now, um, in London, uh, one one thing that the game does not do a very good job explaining to you up front. It, the only way I learned this was that uh, it showed up in a tooltip. Having your lights on, which happens every single time you go through there. Oh, yeah. Have your, having them on burns extra fuel. Now, you need your lights on to discover uh, landmarks, and we do want to discover landmarks. So toggling them on briefly will allow us to start identifying landmarks here and get the, uh, get the uh, fragments for that. But once we've done that, and once we've uh, illuminated this here, we want to turn it back off. Now, there is a downside to traveling the ocean without your lights on. It increases your terror uh, at a much higher rate. But when you're in the lamplight here, you can turn your light off because you're you're basking in the, the glow of the... Uh, of that of that now our first stop here is hunter's keep uh and this one oh this one always spawns right outside of london it's a very very nice place to go to um the sisters help you out uh in a number of different ways we're gonna try and spy on them um 75 percent chance to do it we can get pick up some extra fragments uh hopefully this goes our way ah all right, well, they spotted me. I Ah, and I don't get the free uh, I don't get the free luncheon cuz I spied on them and failed. Well, that's unfortunate. Uh so let's uh, get our port report here. And then yeah, I guess I'll I'll burn the uh the news news here. Uh cuz normally they will give you a free luncheon here, which will just reset your hunger and let you visit with them. But here, since they caught me spying on them, they weren't so uh so happy to. But we can bribe them with some recent news. And now they are willing to have lunch with us. Um, now, each of these three sisters, um, they they kind of go with the, the three different gods of the uh, of the Undersea here. Uh, I like joining with Cynthia because she has a chance of giving you a permanent increase to your irons, uh, which is your uh, stat of destruction here, and also is used in tests. The other two don't have a chance of giving you the, that increase. Now, she does increase your terror a little bit, but uh, it's worth it. Uh, let's see. We got the God Salt. Uh, we didn't get our Iron Crease. That's okay. We got a Tale of Terror. Those can be useful. We got one Terror. That's fine. And one extra Supplies. You always refill your health and get a unit of supplies when doing uh, lunch with the sisters. So it's a useful thing to have. 
All right, so we have done that. We got our port report. Always remember, every time you visit a port, even if you visited it before, get a port report because you turn that in to the Admiralty, they give you money. They give you money and they give you fuel for it. How much money they give you depends on how far away the port is. Uh, these early ports are only worth like five and 10, uh, but it's still useful and the free fuel is useful too. You always get one unit of free fuel. Um, so yeah, definitely worth doing that. Let's turn our lights off. We'll head towards this buoy here. And then once we get closer to the shore, I'll turn the light back on just a little bit to uh, get some landmarks here. Because yeah, getting landmarks is another good way to uh, uh, boost up your, your, um, your, yeah, your, your, um, oh, what are they called? Right, fragments, fragments. Yes, you build up enough fragments and they turn into a secret. You get, secrets can be used for a number of useful things. All right, also this little lamp thing right here is a very important little indicator. Uh, basically when this is on there, when you go to a new port, you have a chance to do some storyline stuff. Um, it, it might be random what kind of storyline stuff you can do, or you could, might be able to pick what kind of storyline stuff you do. Uh, but it's still telling you that, hey, your, your visit to the port will be, have, a, have, have at least one more thing to do. Um, so we'll be able to do that when we get here to Vendor Blight. So I need to turn the lights on to discover. There we go. All right. Um, now there's a number of different outcomes to what can happen with the, uh, with the, with your tomb colonists. This seems to be the more common one where they, they groan, clutch, clutch their tests and explode in frost. Blocks. Um, which is a little grim, but we still get a bunch of stuff from them. We get this outlandish artifact, which is awesome. Uh, we also get a hundred echoes, which is also awesome and two more supplies. So very much worth it. Sorry, buddy. Sorry to see you go. Uh, the other thing we're going to do here is, um, remember how I was saying that mushroom mine? See, they're buying it for, uh, or well, we can sell it to them for 23. So we liquidate our supplies of mushroom wine and huzzah, we are at 198 uh, uh, echoes. Uh, for the purposes of this, since we have too many supplies, I'm gonna sell one supply because you want your echoes to be over 200 for this next part. Um, well, it, it, for the near future, uh, I'll show you when we get there. But while we're here, let's go explore the tomb colony. Now I see this little icon right here, this uh, something awaits you that correlates to the lamp right here. So if we didn't have this lamp, we couldn't do explore vendor blight. It just sort of is a way to prevent you from just like docking, undocking, spamming a new adventure, undocking, docking, spam a new adventure. You have to be at sea for a while for you to get more stories here. So it kind of, you know, says, go to a port, do its thing, do a story there, move on. By the time you get to your next port, this will probably will have regenerated itself. Uh, so let's explore. Uh, let's see, a raggedy fellow. Um, yeah, I'm going to leave him here because I don't want more sailors, or sailors as they call them. And he's not too happy with us, but that's fine. Let's gather some gossip. That gives us our port report. Uh, that does not require the uh, the news here. The other things here, uh, I mean, we could get the quest for the first curator, but we're not going to be doing that for a while. So we'll just leave these be. Uh, so let's uh, let's set off. Now. There's something very important to note here. See the little map here? Well, you haven't seen it yet. Oop, we got some Z-Bats, but it's worth fighting them. We are not really meant to be a, uh, a, a powerhouse here. In terms of combat, ow. They just shove me. These little bastards are quick. Take that. Now, when you kill Z-Bats... You can either eat them or dispose of the corpses. Let's eat them. It gives you a supply. Yeah, it gives us one terror, but who cares? Who cares? We get more free supplies. And like I said, every little bit matters here. 
All right, now we're heading further north because um, the the uh, the the islands and the lands and the ports along the coast here are always static. We I know exactly what ports are up here, what islands are up here. We're gonna want to turn our lights off when you if you see a lifeberg, which is what one of those guys are, you don't want to fight a lifeberg. Swarm of bats, yeah, we can handle that. Lifeberg, f that, no. But by turning your lights off, it makes it less likely for them to be able to see you. And it also saves on your fuel efficiency. Um, and there's some nice um, lamps over here to help uh, fight the, the terror here. Because the terror doesn't spike if, uh, if you're in the uh, light aura of, uh, of uh, one of these uh, buoy lights. All right. Sometimes there is a uh, a life uh, a life berg up here too. So don't be so quick to flip your lights back on. All right. Looks like we're in the clear. Let's get a couple of uh, points of interest. Oop. Oh, nope. There is a one up there, but he's not close enough to see us. All right. And we got our lamp back. Always good to check on that before you dock. Uh, if you have, if you're, if you're, if you've arrived, but you haven't got your lamp back yet, just chill outside for a little bit. It'll come back soon enough. All right, we're at Wither now. Um, let's gather intelligence, get ourselves that port report again. They might seem small individually, but they add up. And part of the reason why we came all the way up to Wither is just for its port report and its story. Uh, let's see, take shore leave. This is if you need to reduce your terror. It's a lot cheaper to reduce your terror at London and a couple other places than to pay, especially 50 Echo. At this stage of the game, we are not paying 50 Echo. So let's explore the town. Oh, hi there. Um, let's see. Try something mysterious. Try some uh, some shredded jellyfish. Thirty-one percent chance, fifteen percent chance, or just go with uh, um, that. I'm gonna go with this. I don't. Uh, if I remember correctly, the downside to failing this isn't that horrible. Uh, so let's do it. We succeeded. We lost two terror, we lost five hunger, and we got ten fragment. Yeah, I mean, it's one of those things where it's not a huge benefit if you win it, not a huge loss if you lose it, but just a little flavor. So we are uh, we are acquainted with the taste of jellyfish, shredded jellyfish. Mm. Now, this place is unique in that it trades uh, stuff in uh, stories. Uh, we have one tale of terror, but that doesn't do any good for us, so... We are going to, uh, we're just going to depart. Now, the, one of the other reasons why I went all the way up here, and specifically for port reports, is right next to Wither is always going to be this place called Code Crap. I think that, uh, I think, I think that life perk, yep, they saw us. Yeah, 400 hit points. Now, here's a nice little trick here. When you dock, you de-aggro. Um, well, it looks like he de-aggroed anyway, but if you're, if someone's hot on your tails, dock somewhere. They can't shoot you there and they'll de-aggro. Now here, there's no story thing. So the fact that we don't have our, uh, our lamp back doesn't matter. We can still get our port report and that'll be worth some fuel and money. All right, now comes the exploration part. We have, we have, we have gone up the, the route that we know where stuff is. Now we're going to be going into the realm of we're not sure where stuff is. And once we reach that point in the map, I will explain and demonstrate. This is sort of how the game does its uh, random generation here. Let's see, are we there yet? Ah, so see this little, see this line right here? This, this, I mean, this is just an invisible line in, in the map here, but it is significant because everything to the left of this line all the way down, if you trace that line all the way down the map, everything in this column is static. Every game you play will always have all of the, the docks on the shore and all the islands over here. This is always the same. So you can always count on Vendor Blight being exactly here. And I knew Wither was up here and I knew Caldex was over here. But once you cross this line, all bets are off. Stuff is randomly placed. Now, there, to an extent, there, there, are, there are islands that are meant to be closer to, to London and there are islands that are meant to be way the heck over here. Uh, and they generally show up there, but sometimes things can shuffle. And um, 
Oop, I see the lights of a rival ship. We need to be careful. Either that or a... Um, yeah. What is up here? That's oh, just a lamp. So yeah, we're just looking for shores. Also, when you're looking for shores and exploring, use your Z-Bat. If you're close to something interesting that, that you haven't explored yet, the Z-Bat might tell you. The Ragged Crow. Okay, that doesn't really help us because that's just a giant lighthouse. That's not actually a, a port that we can visit. It's just a lighthouse. Um, so being that the lighthouse is right here, we're going to want to go south. Um, because again, it randomly decided that the Ragged Crow and its outlying islands are going to be up here. Um, and that's not of anything to use. What we are looking for are the salt lions. If we can find the salt lions, especially if we can find them close to London, we are in business. Capital B business. This is how you can sort of uh, catapult yourself out of the super early, I am broken, I might not be able to feed my crew stages to, uh, to the, uh, oh, hey, I can actually afford and pick and choose some fancy things for myself and progress. Uh, and a lot of people, I've, especially given comments I've read, have, have expressed frustrations in this game in that their inability to, you know, get beyond breaking even. The salt lines are really your ticket to that. All right, so, but again, it's not a guarantee. Um... You know, we don't know what specifically is going to be here. We got the Fogine Bleaks. Generally, the salt lions are all by themselves. So if you see like random little mini islands like that, then we know, all right, this section isn't going to contain the salt lion. What do we got over here? Bonnie Reef. What's really unfortunate is if you come across a bunch of areas that are just like landmarks, but no actual ports, that's unfortunate, because that means that's, even if, um, oh, pirate, yeah, this guy we can take. Now, when it comes to fighting pirates, we're, we're going to get blasted at least once here. But from afterwards, we can cut our speed to, to half speed and just follow behind him. And as long as you keep yourself away from his forward arc, he can't shoot you. And you can just spin around and shoot him. So that's how you minimize your damage when fighting against uh, pirate ships. So let's see what we got. Come on, fuel. Well, one fuel. I was hoping for like three fuel, but I'll take the one fuel. Looks like we got a, uh, a lighthouse down here. That's good for reducing terror. Moody's light. Um, well, we'll see if... Uh, let's see where we are in relation to London. All right, we're still going down here. I don't think we're going to run into uh, to the pirates uh, area, which is the area that the council has uh, sent us to. If we, I mean, if we bump into that port, we're also in really good shape because we're going to get a nice chunk of change uh, for for getting that port. Ooh, what do we got over here? Aha, a port. It's like the, f yep, Demu Island, Iron and Misery Funging, which is unfortunate. Well, it's fortunate that we found this island, but it's unfortunate because the other place that the, that the Admiralty can send you to on your first mission can will be this place. It's either this or the pirate place. And I guess they decided for the pirate place. Um, so we can go here. We've got, obviously had our lamp on for quite a while. We're not going to accept anything. We do want to compile a port report. Uh, let's explore. Rat Corsairs. Ooh, I don't, haven't seen this one before. Give them what they want or refuse the trade. A rattling gun. And they'll exchange ra drowning pearls for supplies and repair and restock. Well, if restock means fuel, three supplies, you know what, we'll be okay. I'll do that, especially since our irons only gives us an 18% chance to fight them off. Oh, and if we had the wretched mog, we can uh, <laughs> we can send it at the rats, but we don't have that, so we will do that. We get um oh, you didn't give me a freaking fuel, cheapskate. And here, yeah, you can dig for more supplies, but supplies aren't really what we need. Well, let's do it once. Now we just gain some terror, and some more terror. All right, enough of that. I don't want to terrorize myself 
too early in the game here. Let us continue. We can do a little bit more exploration before we need to swing back to London. But that's kind of the that's kind of the the the, the plan here is to go all the way up here, swing by, come down, see what's in this column, hope it's the salt lions or at least something useful, and then dock back at fallen London, resupply, and then continue our search. Uh, we're gonna turn off our light. I'm okay with the terror because um, I want to conserve fuel. Once you get start getting terror above 50, you might want to keep the light on. Um, especially if you're doing tasks that might... Uh, ah, I think, we, I think we're going to be nearing the pirate's place, so... Mm, yeah, this is kind of the area that pirates, uh, the pirate's place spawns, which would not be the worst thing in the world. We're going to turn our lights off because we're about to get some de-terror from Patrick's Lodge because people like being basked in the uh, light here. But yeah, this will be a good final place to uh, to find if it's the Pirate's Place. I, I th It has a, it has an actual proper title. It's not just called the Pirate's Place. Um, but I keep forgetting the title. Oh, that doesn't look like it. Nope. Oh boy. Pirate frigate. Yeah, I think this is the pirate place. And we're going to avoid this place. The question mark means he, he lost sight of us. So we're going to do that. We're going to... Ah, here it is. So this is the place that the Admiral Admiralty sent me towards. So this will be a great final stop in our little tour. And then we'll have just enough fuel and uh, supplies to make ourselves back to London. And uh, there we can restock, we can cash in. We didn't find the salt lions, but that's okay. We'll have enough stuff. Uh, Gators Morn, there we go, Gators Morn. That's the name I was looking for. So here, um, yeah, here they kind of make you pay, but it's only five echoes and that keeps us above that, so. We will do that. We have our strategic information, which is the really valuable thing we want here. Um, now, getting the port report here is risky, but if you lose, you still get the report. You just lose some of your crew, which is actually kind of what we want because we want to trim back our crew a little bit so they don't eat so much. So port report. Oh, I've never gotten this outcome before. We failed it, but I got a tale of terror plus uh, plus the port report. So yeah, uh, we got we lost a crew, but that's okay. And while we're here, let's explore the morn. This can be dangerous too, but we got plenty of crew left. Ah, it's another food challenge. Well, we already know what the jellyfish is. Um, let's try something mysterious. You've gained hunger and terror. Okay, maybe not the best thing to do. Uh, fuel is disgustingly expensive here. Um, not worth buying. So we're just going to try and make it on what we have. We're going to want to keep our lights off. We're going to want to set a course directly for London. Um, and yeah, we're going to keep our lights off to minimize our fuel. I uh, also want to keep the lights off because the, the game remembers where enemies are if, if you don't kill them. I mean, obviously they spawn in new enemies, but yeah. Uh, now, since we have our lights off, we're going to want to, uh, where, where possible, find uh, buoys and stick to the lighthouses and whatnot just to minimize the terror gain that we have. All right, down to one supplies, but we trimmed our crew back a little bit. Um... I don't think we'll run out of food. It's fuel I'm more worried about um, because fuel goes gets consumed a lot faster than the food. Um, and the fuel doesn't care about how many crew you have on board. Um, the fuel actually cares about um, your, your, your engine power. Uh, the more powerful the engine you have, the faster you'll go, yes, but the more fuel hungry it is too. Uh, but now that since we're here at the light ship, I'm okay. I'm going to turn on the light so we can get some terror reduction here. 
because we are kind of high on our terror levels here, uh, being this early in the game. We're not going to have a ton of money to spend on terror reduction, but that's okay. I have a few things in mind. All right, yep, looks like we have just enough supplies to get ourselves back without having to run out and pay for a tow or get stranded. That's never fun. Ah, home sweet home. One fuel, one supplies left. Good, good, good round of judgment. And we got that strategic info, which means not only do we get paid for that, but we uh, we can get a next our next quest for that. All right, folks. Well, that is going to do it for me. Uh, looks like they're going to inspect us for some illegal goods. We don't have any of those, so this guy don't bother me. Uh, so in our next episode, we uh, do some business in London, and then we set back out uh, to the sea to try and find our beloved salt lions. Uh, should be a good one. So if you like this episode and you want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave me a comment, good, bad, or indifferent. Your feedback's always welcome. Um, take care. Pin star out.